If you live with somebody who likes to play video games, and millions of adults do, you won't have escaped hearing about Gamergate. It's rocked the $100 billion video gaming industry with allegations of sexism and misogyny. It started with an allegation against a female gamer of sexual favours for good reviews and quickly turned into an all-out culture war. Monique Shafter reports, and a warning, this story contains scenes of video violence. It's a Saturday in Melbourne and more than 30,000 hardcore video gamers are geeking it up at one of Australia's largest games conferences. I'm the conductor of the poop train! They're here to play and have some serious chats. Well, hello and, and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for the amazing turnout. This panel was conceived before the uh, whole Gamergate schmozzle. The topic getting a lot of people fired up is Gamergate. And then we'll open up to Q&A from the audience. Stop Gamergate 2014. There's just a lot of hatred and a lot of anger. It's making people feel really uncomfortable about gaming, which sucks. Gamergate is a controversy that's lit up the internet since August this year and has threatened to turn violent. It started with an act of revenge. It all kind of began when um, an indie game developer by the name of Zoe Quinn uh, was uh, accused by an angry ex-boyfriend of uh, sleeping with someone in order to get good reviews for her game. Um, and despite the fact that she was able to refute these allegations, it kind of um, stirred up quite an online backlash towards her. Quinn was flooded with harassment and abuse online. God, I hate that. She's a dumpy loser whose only claim to hold games is without substance and is nothing more than an exercise. All females are sluts and have no right to be depressed. Gamergate sort of became an issue where people wanted to discuss ethics within games journalism, but um, because of the reaction towards her, um, it also became an issue about misogyny and, and the way women are treated in games. It quickly exploded into an online culture war. They've been using the hashtag Gamergate. Video games journalism is such a joke. Gamergate's cabal on the technology world's up. I watched a bunch of women get sliced up in video games, and now I'm watching it on my Gamergate changes people. Things got even heavier when other women, like game developer Brianna Wu, came out in support of the woman at the centre of this revenge attack. I hope you enjoyed your last moments alive on this. If you have kids, they're going to die too. They threatened to murder me, to, to rape me. They uh, threatened to sever my husband's genitals and, and choke me to death with them. Uh, they threatened to murder any of my children that I might have uh, because they would grow up to, you know, want women to be equal. Why have you been forced to leave your home? Brianna Wu's personal address was posted online in an attack known as doxing. Guess what, bitch? I know where you live. You and Frank live at. The FBI are now involved. Wu believes it's a campaign to scare women out of the games industry. The video game industry is changing very rapidly. They kind of want things the way that they are. They kind of don't want girls in their clubhouse. It's been a really difficult and sort of protractedly heinous time to be a woman in games. Numerous women have either been run out of their homes or have decided to stop writing about games or making them as a result of this. Does it scare you personally? No comment? Well, I've talked about Gamergate a bit on Twitter. I never use the hashtag because I know there's people sort of watching the hashtag and looking to pounce on anyone who uses that. It's just all gross sexist shit and it needs to stop. Go! <laughs> These online attacks have shone a light on what some people believe to be a deep-seated misogyny saturating video games. You like her? You can have her. Yeah, she's pretty clean and pretty dirty also, huh? The game footage I'll be showcasing will be particularly graphic and include scenes of extreme violence against women. Are you here for the whore? Are you dead to me? I have your money. Let her go. No! Utilizing women as background actors. Feminist pop culture critic Anita Sarkeesian, known for her YouTube series about the portrayal of women in games, was also attacked online. She was forced to cancel a talk at Utah State University after threats of a shooting. 
A recent survey showed that nearly half of all gamers are women, but female characters and game developers are still few and far between. Yeah, I think this is kind of the catch-22 we find ourselves in, so we'd find more girls in the industry uh, if there were games that kind of, not targeted towards them, but games that included them a lot more. Uh, but we only get the games that include women a lot more if there are women making them. While a lot of the conversation online surrounding Gamergate has been pretty vile, it doesn't speak for all gamers. I think on the internet, people feel a lot freer to just be a jerk. There's 35,000 people here or something like that, and there's not a single problem. Everyone's been really great, really accepting. Diversity has come to games, and it's sort of that last cry of, of, of the people who don't want that change to come hoping they can stop it, but like it's already here, you know, you look around here and you can already see all the different games made by all kinds of different people. In the long run, Gamergate's going to go away and women are going to stay around, so it's, probably, it's easier to see who's going to win. I suppose my hope is that something positive will come out of it, um, you know, for the games industry people want this to be a safe place and a happy place and a positive place where we can all talk about games because we love them so much.